Hey, this is Jaron Braxton, artist, digital artist, musician. 23-year-old Jaron Braxton is headed to the Sundance Film Festival. Pretty much taught myself how to do animation. I grew up playing video games, and if you look at my style, it's it's kind of like a low poly video game type aesthetic. Just because some of the themes I'm exploring are very kind of harsh concepts, giving people that entry point of video gaming sometimes makes it an easier pill to swallow. Porn Stopper is just a video game just about where you work as like a manager at a call center and you just have to stop your employees from watching porn on the clock <laughs> and you can like unlock like the boss level and go into the break room decorate your office a little bit it, it, it's talking about the dichotomy between sex work and and real work and how closely these worlds get yet how one is viewed as more of a taboo um, and while one is more uh, respected. But it kind of gets like that dialogue started and it's not really in your face. You just play and you're like, why, why would you make such a game like this? But then just like, you know what I'm saying, look around in society. I've been wrapping it up, so we're trying to get it on the, the app stores right now. I just love the contemporary art scene. You know, each one of my films tends to be inspired by like a, a Basquiat painting. So Basquiat really inspired Glucose. Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's interesting, you know, different strokes for different folks, you know, at the end of the day, it's a big, like, hype beast, clout fest, circle jerk, so, so I've been saying 2019, that was the glow up for me, 2020, that's the blow up, 2030, 2040, in America, people won't look at animation as just something for children, we'll look at it as something um, just as a tool instead of a genre, much like in Japan, where it's like they have animation on every level. Even beyond the genre, just shift people's mind states to become a bit more open, to become a bit more accepting, to look at the past, because there's a whole, you know, plethora of history of, you know, the darker sides of colonialism and American history and black history that's just not talked about. I mean, it's talked about amongst black people and it's, it's you know, been conveyed to me via just oral tradition in my family um, coming home from school. But I would like to bring it to people's forefront. Things uh, like Trump, you know, don't happen again because I think one of the biggest problems in our, our, our American society right now is we're all divided and you know, it's to the point now where people see like somebody wearing a Trump hat and it's like, like, oh, fuck them. I'm not even gonna talk to them, which is exactly what I think the Trump campaign and people want, which is not really what we need because coming from somewhere like Indiana, I see, I see, you know, I live with like, you know, right with like rednecks and hood niggas. And the thing is about rednecks and hood niggas, they're the same person but it's just kind of branded a little different and we're taught to hate one another. Hopefully, you know, with my art, I could bring people together and, you know, kind of create it in such a way that sort of plays off of, you know, both sides. Cause I feel like, I don't think there's any more of an American than myself. And I, so I've seen it on um, both sides, been in LA, been in New York, obviously been in the middle, which is mainly America. And you know, that's what I channel in my work. You know, whatever's going on, just live your truth. So, that's it.